I am so excited for this unboxing. I went to my first Collecticon over the weekend. Before we dive in, let's just take a little moment to pray for my poor wallet who is now deceased and no longer with us. <laughs> So to be honest, the main thing that I really bought from Collecticon was a bunch of cards. I was on the hunt for some cool figures, but none of them really hit the mark for me. Let's take a look at these cards first. Okay, first up we have an SPR Kid Goku with the four star Dragon Ball. So cute, so iconic. All right, next up we have, oh, SS2 Son Gohan. Another SPR. To be honest, after this experience, I am going to try and not get into the habit of buying my cards. I do really want to have that excitement of pulling them myself. But there are certain cards that I just can't pass up when I see them. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. How can you go wrong with this card, honestly? All right, next up. SS Sun Goku, another SPR. Oof, baby. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, next up. Classic moment again. So iconic. You just can't go wrong with anything that depicts this moment, honestly. Oh yeah, all the warriors together. Universe 7, powers combined. Oh. My boy again, Beast Gohan. I tried so hard to find the SPR version of this, but I could not find it. And some people didn't even know what I was talking about. So I was happy that I found this, but I think I'm just gonna have to buy some boxes of Critical Glow and try and pull it myself. So normally I'm not really that into collecting the Japanese cards, but some of the art on those Japanese versions are just really, really mint. So I ended up buying a few Japanese cards as well. So first up we have this beautiful, hunky Vegeta Blue Super Saiyan. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, this one. I loved this one too. Just, just the amount of gold foiling in it. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of gold, honestly? It's just, it always makes the card pop and just really awesome artwork. So I did end up snagging some Pokemon cards as well. So let's take a little look at that. Lugia is my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. Holds a special place in my heart. So again, just had to get this one. <laughs> Another Lugia, of course. It takes me back to watching the movie. Yeah, that holds a special place in my heart as well. So. Of course I had to get this one too. And speaking of Pokemon movies, we have the homie Mewtwo. This one is so beautiful and I was actually very surprised with the price of it. And it's a Gem Mint 10 too, so really, really happy with this score. Oh yeah, boy, look at that. Oh, Son Gohan, man, the colors in this card are just absolutely gorgeous and what's even better about this is i got a matching beast gohan card to go with it oh shit like look at this people look at this set together isn't this the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen in your life muhammad if you're watching thank you so much for giving me such a great deal on these cards i I'm so happy I got to snag these up and I'm really looking forward to our special purchase that we have in the works. And finally, we have some really beautiful gold foil art prints. And we have this Goku as well doing a Kamehameha that is lasting with gold foiling. And last but not least, we actually have some mystery packs here. And Muhammad from Game Corner was so generous, he gave me a free single blister pack of Blazing Aura. But I'm going to end this video here now. I will unbox these mystery packs in another video, which will be coming out next. So if you want to see what I hit in there, stay tuned for more.